$100,000 in cash for it. I will pay you a $150,000 cash advance, non-refundable. We'll pay you $200,000 cash delivered in a Louis Vuitton duffel bag. $250,000 guaranteed. My offer is $500,000 cash. All right, so after Team USA won against France, Tops came out with this new card. It's Tops now, but they came out with this new triple autograph card, which has LeBron James, Steph Curry, and Kevin Durant. It looks like it's an on-card auto, blue autograph. They're selling this for $11.99. So if you buy one of these, you're entered into like a sweepstakes to win this card. This is not in a sealed pack product. I can't go to the store and pull this out of a box. You have to buy the base card on the Topps website. And it's, it's like a, they're just picking some random person. And I think if you buy more, you get a better price. But the print run of this card is 588,000. They're making some cash, I'll tell you that. If we do some math here, 11.99 times that number is seven million dollars now let's say we want to be more conservative and do 8.99 times that number we get a little over five million dollars so they made a lot of money off this and the triple auto i didn't realize this at the time i just didn't think about it but this is the first time lebron signed on a tops card and i'm not talking about in-person autographs i'm talking about a company made the card and the player autographed and it's issued by that company but yeah this is the first time lebron signed on a tops card that's kind of a big deal lebron has that deal with upper deck and he you know he hasn't signed in prism or tops but he has signed in like goodwin goodwin champions over the recent years he signed in bowman with Bronny james that dual autograph i'm not sure if there is another card out there with all three of these guys that's autographed so lebron curry durant this is the first card featuring all of them together the card's pretty significant then if curry and lebron have never signed together on a card which i believe is true and then all three of these guys have never signed together on a card now People could get autographs in person on a card, but but pack issued, this is, I guess you would call this pack issued, but you know what I mean, made by the actual card companies. So this got me thinking, how many times has LeBron signed a Topps card? So I wanted to look at his 2003 Topps Chrome card and his other 2003, just the regular Topps card. This is from his rookie year. There's only one Topps Chrome card that's been signed, according to PSA. And then with the regular Topps card, there's only five that have been autographed. And I'm sure there's more Topps cards he's signed. It would take forever to go through every Topps product of every year. So I don't even know if he was allowed to sign Topps cards. But, you know, in the coming years, I'm assuming LeBron's going to be signing all kinds of tops cards because he's in the new tops chrome which that set doesn't have the nba logos on it so i'm not sure if he's going to be in that set if there's going to be an autograph card by him well as i was editing this video nate from grand slam collectibles just pulled the lebron james 101 super fractor autograph for a customer so that's pretty crazy that's probably one of the best cards in that product the victor obviously is the most. Nope. LeBron James! Oh, Holy oh, shit! Oh, Let's go, baby! So this card became a big deal. There's people placing bounties on this card left and right. Jeff Wilson, he he did a one hundred thousand dollar bounty with a VIP experience. Ken Ken Golden offered one hundred fifty thousand dollars cash. But that's actually not true at all. He's not trying to buy the card. This is from one of his recent live streams. But let me explain the deal with this card. Some people who did not watch my video think we are trying to buy the card for $150,000. We are not trying to buy the card. In fact, we are not buying the card. What I am doing is I am telling you that we will auction the card, auction it off for you, 
get the highest price we can. Look, it's me. You know I'm going to be on TV talking about it. You know I'm going to be in the news talking about it. It's going to be on the front page of our catalog. It's going to be lot number one, okay? Lot number one. And I'm going to give you $150,000 right now, you know, when we get the card, it is, by the way, the card is the, and this, let me, let me finish. I'm going to give you $150,000 right now that you can go out and spend. And that is not a quote unquote loan. I'm just giving you $150,000. It's an advance. It's non-refundable. And if the card goes for $750,000, we're going to take that $750,000. We're going to take out the agreed upon commission that we negotiate privately. And you're going to keep your one fifty, dollars And then you're going to get another $600,000, $550,000 on top of it. So that's a pretty strong offer right there. And then on Instagram, in famous cards offered two hundred thousand for the card. So I'm sure everyone has seen Jeff Wilson's hundred thousand dollar bounty on this card right here. Well, we want it more. We'll pay you two hundred thousand cash delivered in a Louis Vuitton duffel bag, and yes, you can keep the bag. Then Jeff Wilson offered two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for the card. The best card in the world deserves the opportunity to be displayed at the best card shop in the world. And that's why I'm increasing my bounty offer to $250,000 guaranteed, plus the opportunity to get even more at auction. I have teamed up with Fanatics Collect and Sotheby's to hold a spot to auction this card at their joint auction. And I will immediately place an irrevocable bid of $250,000 on this card. This means you are guaranteed to get at least $250,000 for this card, but if it sells for more at auction, you will get even more. Fanatics Collect and Sotheby's are gathering the top collectors in the world for this elite auction, so the card will sell for top value. I want your card there because I want to win it and bring it back here to Cards HQ. So now we kind of have a Golden versus Fanatics top situation now with Sotheby's. On August 21st, Grand Slam Collectibles offered $300,000 for the card. We are willing to pay $300,000 in cash, not checks, not bank wires, not Venmo, Zelle, anything else. $100 bills, if you want it in nickels, I'll get it in nickels for you. Uh, no headaches with an auction house, no empty promises, uh, no talking to bankers. We don't need them. Remember, we started this with nothing. And what we have now was earned. But if it goes to any auction house, we won't bid a dime. So when an auction house tells you, oh, just, just give it to us, Nate will at least bid 300000 I give you my word, Nate will bid $0. On Twitter, Do It Big Chicago offered $350,000 for the card. Then Grand Slam offered $500,000 for the card. So that's where we're at right now. The biggest bounty is $500,000 for the triple auto. Now, Grand Slam had some stipulations. It must be graded by Beckett at our expense and receive a grade of a BGS near mint eight with 10 autograph or better. The offer is valid for 60 days from today and the autographs can't have smudges on it. And something else to mention is they said if you just bring the card to Grand Slam, They'll pay you $10,000 just to take a picture and see the card in person. So that's that's pretty crazy. It's a crazy offer right there. 10000 just to take a picture with it. But hey, that's, that's pretty cool. It would be very unfortunate if this card came back and it had like a crease or an indention in the card or the autographs were smudged. So it's going to be interesting to see how this card turns out. In the following days after that, Giannis commented on the Collectible Guru's Instagram video. He said, 150K, I need that. I guess he's offering 150K, but the video clearly said that Grand Slam already offered 500K. So maybe he didn't watch the whole video. I don't know. On the Tops Twitter page, there was a comment from a French soccer player. He said 155K, I need it too. Now, after that was posted, Jeff Wilson made this video on his 
Instagram page. Sorry, Giannis, $150,000 for this triple auto card isn't going to get it done. My bounty offer is still the best one out there by far. Now look, I know one person has offered more cash, but they now added stipulations to their offer. Like you must grade it with Beckett and it must get a certain grade. Look, if you get this card, please don't grade it. Just keep it encased. My offer is best because it gives you the upside. Some people say this is a million dollar card. Maybe it is. And if it is, I'm going to help you get that. My offer is that I will help you submit your card to a Fanatics Collect in Sotheby's Holy Grail auction. And then I'll put in an irrevocable opening bid of $250,000 for the card. Now, hopefully it will sell for a lot more. And if it does, you get the extra money. But if nobody else bids, you at least are guaranteed to get my 250 k So this is a win-win. I'm going to be watching my DMs this week, so hit me up when you get the card. After Jeff Wilson made that video, Nathan Burns made this video. Anyway, people have sent me this video about a dozen times today. I don't know when he shot it, don't really care, but a, a, a video of Jeff Wilson acting like him and Giannis are competing for this bounty. And I just find it comical. Um, playtime was over last week. You know, little boys go to the sandbox. Daddy's home. And stop referring to me without saying my name, Jeff. Say my name. Daddy's home. Half a million cash. I don't need Fanatics Collect. I don't need Uncle Kenny Golden telling me or Sotheby's. $500,000. Stop playing games. <laughs> Seriously. Like, Jeff, just stop for just for once. Since you've been in this industry, stop thinking about yourself. Do you really not want the person to receive it to get the most money? I truly, if anybody can get more than $500,000 for the card, I promise you I want them to get it. Get it. Go get it. It won't be from Jeff Wilson. It won't be from Giannis. My offer is $500,000 cash. But all this nonsense carrying on, acting like our offer is not legitimate because we want the card to be near mint to mint. Hey, man, if you got a banged up card, go sell it to them. No problem. I didn't want it anyway, if that's the case. If you want the most money, come to us. It's just that simple. There is no carrying on. There is no, we're not going to use you as a prop for a video. We're not going to bust a box of Collegiate Flawless with you at our superstore. We're just going to pay you cash. We're not going to show videos of why we deserve the USA card because we have a Charles Barkley jersey that we bought sitting on, sitting on a mannequin in our house. <laughs> no, man. The reason you should sell it to us is if, because we are offering the most money on the planet. If anybody offers you more on my life, I want you to sell it to them. The American dream is real, right? Go get it. Here, it, here is your opportunity. You can literally take a half a million dollars cash or you could sell it to someone else at an auction that I won't be bidding on, I promise. Up to you. But with that said, let's just say another person offers you 510,000. I'm being sincere when I say this. I want you to sell it to them. I hope you get it. I really do. I hope more than anything. True. I hope it's somebody like I was eight years ago. I sure could have used a half a million dollars. It would have literally changed my life. No doubt about it. That's what this is about. It's not about me just wanting this card. It's silly. It's just a piece of cardboard. At the end of the day, I've done what I want to do in my life. I'm happy. I want to try to help someone else have that feeling of, man, I finally caught a break. We're your break, baby. We are literally your break. Somebody's going to get it. If you don't want to sell it, I respect that. But by all means, if you think for one second that some $150,000 offer or $250,000 uh, bid on an auction, yada, 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 is more than a half a million dollars cash, I don't really know what else to tell you. Stay up. Remember, say my name. Put some respect on it, son. I'm your daddy. Let's go.
So we have a little beef now. I think it's cool that Nathan offered $500,000. I think it's good for the hobby that there's some competition. You know, somebody's life's gonna be changed. I think that's pretty cool. Then in the following days, Ken Golden made this video. Hi everybody. You're still seeing offers on the Tops Now card signed by LeBron, Curry, and Durant. Here's the real deal. Get the card in your hands, contact me personally. No, I'm not gonna tell you you're gonna get this top cash offer. I'm not gonna tell you we're gonna do this deal. I'm not gonna say it's contingent. Just take 30 seconds and call me. My email is ken at golden.com. You can direct message me on Instagram as well, but I might not get that as fast. Send me an email, ken at golden.com, and you and I will talk together and get you the best deal. What I can tell you is this, it will not involve an irrevocable bid where the person placing the bid by definition is getting a piece of the upside. It's also not gonna be dealing with an auction house that has not sold a modern trading card since 2020. And when they did sell those modern trading cards in 2020, they were 20 to 40% below current comps at that time for the same card. You wanna take this card, you wanna get the best price. Give yourself 30 seconds, give me a call. If I can't cut a deal with you, guess what? Take somebody else's bounty, but it doesn't hurt. Anybody who does a deal without talking to me first is gonna be the biggest regret of your life. So I guess you're gonna have to give him a call. I don't know what he's offering here, but interesting. Then, the day after Ken Golden made that video, someone posted the triple auto on eBay, and it was at $25,000, and then it was removed. Now, this is obviously a fake. Someone already made a fake card, which, it's not bad looking. I can't really tell that well from the picture here, but we know it's not gonna come in the mail like that. It's gonna be redemption. And how long, like, when do you think it'll go out, like, all the cards? So the card is signed. Well, no, it's going to be a redemption. So it is going to be a redemption. Okay. So how is it going to deliver to you? It's going to be a special pack. <laughs> okay. And then you'll know that you have a barrel. Okay. And then hopefully you have a big one. In the following days, Nate made this video. So I saw Ken the other day uh, make a video about how he wanted to, uh, uh, you know, talk about whatever he wants to talk about as far as uh, the $500,000 or the, the triple 101 goes and speak his mind. So I guess I want to speak my mind too. And I uh, want to let you know first, the cash has been ordered. Um, for anybody who wants it, um, keep in mind when you do pull the card, you're going to have lots of promises, lots of um, um, suggestions on what to do with it. Before you go doing it with an auction house, I beg you, why don't you talk to some people who have dealt with those auction houses and have sold through those auction houses? Ask some of, you know, dozens of my friends. Were they satisfied with the hammer price? Did they get paid in a timely manner? Um, as far as, I mean, I really don't even need to discuss anything else. I mean, the truth is our offer is double in cash what someone else is not really offering. They just want some publicity. So I want you to get the most money for your card. I really do. If, if it's not, I, I trust God in all of this. When it comes to my life, I, I follow him. If we get the card, that's exactly what we needed. And if we don't get the card, that's exactly what we needed. So if you do get it, you know, and you're keen on getting a half a million dollars in cash, redeem the card, bring us the autograph. As long as it's in near mint to mint condition with clean autos, we will pay you 500,000 cash. If the card is, I'm not saying the if the card's worth a million dollars, I want you to sell it for a million dollars. 
If someone says they can do something for you, ask them why. Why? You know, it, it, it's for profit, right? It's for profit. This is not for profit for me. What do you think I'm going to do with the card? If somebody was going to pay $550,000, wouldn't they just offer that now? I'm going to take the card. I'm going to let all of our customers enjoy it. And you might want to talk to your accountant and ask about what deal is better than this deal or that deal. I'm just saying. So now people are getting the packs in the mail. They're deciding to auction off the packs on eBay and some are selling for over $2,000. What if the one of one never actually gets opened because people just keep selling the packs? I don't know. Now what would be very funny and crazy is somebody sends their pack in the PSA to just grade the pack and then that's actually the redemption 101 in the PSA graded slab. That would be crazy and it just sits in that slab forever. Something else that hasn't been cleared up is how many packs are actually going to be sent out to people? Because we know that everyone is not going to receive a foil pack. The people that ordered more than one base card are probably going to have better odds of receiving the foil pack. And I couldn't really find any good information on this. Some people said there's 1,600 packs. Some guy told me 1,680 packs. Another guy told me 1,100 packs. If that's the case, it's really not that much. Your odds are actually not that bad of hitting the 101 if there's really only like 1,600 packs. I don't know if that's true. It seems pretty low to me. I feel like there's more than just 1,600 packs. And something that has not been talked about is you can actually hit other one of ones in this pack, apparently. There's one that just got posted on Twitter and there's out of fives, there's out of tens, and some of these are going for ridiculous prices right now. So you can also hit something pretty decent from these packs. All right, so in the following days, Giannis commented on this video and he said, whatever he does, I'll double it. Everyone thought Giannis was offering $1 million when he commented that. And Grand Slam even posted about it and said congrats on the video. When I tried to find this comment from Giannis, I couldn't find it anywhere. It wasn't on any of the videos. So I reached out to Break Comp Cards and I said, hey, there's no comment by Giannis anywhere. Did he delete that comment? And at first they were like, here, just check out this video. It's on this video. And I said, well, it's not there anymore. So after I DM'd him that, they made a whole different post. And they said that Giannis deleted the comment. So it looks like Giannis is not offering double $500,000. And we actually get some more information from Ken Golden on his live stream. The Team USA triple has not been pulled. Not only has it not been pulled, but number one, I'm going to talk about the triple for a minute. Number one, it is a redemption. So no one is going to open up a pack and find it, okay? It's a redemption card. It's a redemption. So someone's going to open up a pack and they're going to find a redemption for it. That's number one. The card has not been signed yet. I spoke to Mr. David Liner, the president of Tops, general manager for years, and he told me on Thursday, the card has not been signed yet. So nobody has it. I have had people, listen, people are funny. Look, so you guys got a good time. I have people DMing me and emailing pictures of them holding this card. I had some people, one guy in the bathroom, taking the card with him to the bathroom, photoshopping it an image. I had one guy showing me his lap with a picture of the card. Um, it's all BS, okay? They're funny, they're ingenuitive, but it's not true because the card has not been pulled and um, the card has not been signed yet, okay? So, and Giannis, well, Giannis did, Giannis did contact me, he said he wants the card, but at the time, the highest bounty was 150,000. When he put out that message, said, I'll double it, he thought he was doubling it to 300,000. He didn't realize that somebody said a million, so then that's why he erased it, okay? So. Also, something else to point out is I found two other comments by Giannis, and one of them said, 
151k and two one of one Giannis logo cards. So that's kind of interesting. What logo cards is he talking about? And then another comment, he said, who offered 750k? So I guess people, you know, are probably just trolling him and saying someone offered 750k or people are saying the cards were 750k, which could be the case. It could sell for 750k on auction. But I thought that was interesting. Has the USA Basketball triple auto card been found? Well, according to my Instagram direct messages, this one of one card has been found more than 100 times. In fact, I have received hundreds of direct messages from people claiming to have the card. But so far, not a single one has been able to produce a real photo of it. So as far as I know, the card is still in a pack somewhere. If you pull it, let me know right away. Now, with knowing that that card is the first autograph on a Topps card for LeBron, it does kind of change things, and I think it does make it more significant. But I just don't view Topps now as a high-end product. And I'm not trying to be a hater. I think what they did is very cool. I think it's a very cool card, and it should be worth a lot of money. But the problem is, I'm trying to think of what's the highest Topps Now product or card that has ever sold. Probably some overpriced Victor card or an overpriced Atani card. Does that mean now in the coming years that Topps Now is gonna be coming out with all these cool cards and they're going to be the new supreme brand, like the new Logo Man or the new Exquisite, the new Prism 101 Black Finite? I don't know. And $500,000 is a lot of money in my opinion for this card. And honestly, I probably would rather have other cards around 500,000, just my opinion, because we know that LeBron's gonna sign more Topps cards. If this was the only Topps card he signed, I get it. Like, I, I get the hype. But he's gonna continue to sign more Topps cards. And then if they come out with new products with Curry and LeBron on it, it'll devalue this card, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, I'm a guy on the internet. But let's look at other cards you could buy around that range or even cheaper. Okay, so this just sold August 17th. This is a BGS9 Precious Metal Gems Michael Jordan. And this sold for $268,000. This BGS8 Red PMG Michael Jordan just sold for $298,000 June 1st, 2024. This is like one of the best cards in the hobby. An amazing Precious Metal Gems Jordan card. Now the Victor Black Shimmer 101 selling for $516,000 is pretty insane. That seems very overpriced in my opinion. Now here's a Logo Man 2007 Kevin Durant Kobe Bryant dual autograph, $341,000. That was in January of this year. This was in January of this year. This is Mahomes one of one rookie national treasures, $330,000. So here's a good comparison. This is a logo man, LeBron Curry, $317,000, August 17th, 2024. It's not autographed, but it is a logo man. This is a shield one of one rookie. Patrick Mahomes, $276,000. This was February 2024 of this year. Here's a recent sell. This is a LeBron Exquisite out of 23 rookie, $351,000. In my opinion, this is one of the best cards in the hobby, the out of 23 Exquisite LeBron James rookie. This is also a recent sell of a LeBron James Exquisite out of 99. Rookie, $292,000, August 17th, 2024. A gold prism, BGS 9.5, LeBron James, $250,000. A BGS 9.5 gold refractor out of 50 rookie, LeBron James, sold for $161,000. This was April, 2024. I mean, that's a really good card. I mean, I think that's a great card. Here's another logo man, August 3rd, 2024. This is Giannis, LeBron, and Kevin Durant. So for $122,000, obviously not autographed. A Willie Mays 
1951 Bowman 8.5 just sold for $390,000. That's a pretty big card right there. All I'm going to say is if you pull this card, sell the card, consider the $500,000 offer because you may come out better after fees. If you're going the auction route, negotiate it and just make sure you get your math straight. I feel like someone's going to just end up throwing it up on auction anyway. It's going to be interesting to see where this card ends up. I guess this is just all hyped up anyway at this point. And, you know, again, I think this is a good thing for the hobby. And I think it's cool Tops is doing this. It's going to be interesting to see what else they do in the coming years. Let me know what you guys think this card will end up at. Is it $500,000? Is it $700,000? Is it a million dollars? And I just started a Patreon. I'm going to do sports card content, exclusive content about sports cards. And I may show what I'm buying also. If you want to support the channel, it's in the link below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.